hello it is a friday this is a friday takeaway my name is carl that means i'm giving you some tidbits of information some reflections um building a, a theme or a narrative this year and helping you and helping those around you that they, they might be partners they might be friends they might be professionals or um or therapist that you're working with at the moment. I am doing this for you. Now, last week I said I was going to do a podcast on uh, on people like um, Ronaldo, Djokovic, and even Messi. But you know what? I've been reflecting this week, and I'm not going to talk about those superstars. Instead, I'm going to talk about you. You are an absolute superstar. All right. I want you to know that. And I want you may not feel like it, but I want you to know that you are an absolute superstar for doing what you are doing right now. Recovery from pelvic pain is tough. It is hard. It's grueling. It can feel like an endurance race. It can feel like here are some examples of things my patients have said to me recently. Taking two steps forwards, one step back, three steps forwards, one step back, like a game of snakes and ladders, like a game of hide and seek. OK, it, it points to a challenge. It points to something not being linear. It points to something being confusing and uncertain at times. But you are an absolute superstar for doing what you are doing in spite of flare ups, in spite of uncertainty, in spite of mixed messaging, in spite of reading things that may put you off. You are an absolute superstar if you are continuing on this path. And I'm sure there's been plenty of times that you've thought about throwing the towel in, in many, many different ways. But you are the reason why I do what I do. I've been where you are and it sucks. It's really hard, but it's not the end. More on that in a moment. But you are the reasons, you are the reason why I do the things that I do to help you. And I just want that to sink in for a moment. That's the reason why this week's podcast is about you, the superstar. So I do this podcast only for male pelvic pain. My clinic, the Pelvic Pain Clinic, is only for male pelvic pain patients. Pelvic Pain Matters, which is our educational platform, the area where we do our webinars and our free resources and our online recovery program, is set up for you not for any other condition, but just male pelvic pain conditions. I've just been invited to teach at Bath University again. I've got an email from them this morning. And the reason I go and do that is for you. So Bath University asked me to go and teach on their master's program and instruct those master's students on what male pelvic pain is. I have a female pelvic health specialist there as well but I go down because they want to know about male pelvic pain this is the third time I've been asked to go back and do that now I am presenting later this year on a conference run by Susie Gronsky you may recognize her name um, she is the person who wrote the ultimate cock block book a brilliant book and a wonderful wonderful therapist she's invited me to come and present on that conference and you know why i'm doing that to raise awareness about the condition that you are suffering with there isn't enough awareness about this condition in the world right now which is probably why things aren't going as well as they could do in terms of the media in terms of the treatment in terms of the research so i'm doing this to raise awareness to help you i had a meeting last year and unfortunately it's been unsuccessful but it's uh, it's made us rethink so I was contacted by a pain educator here in the UK, a urologist here in the UK and a, um, and a patient of mine about getting funding to set up an app that once you've been to your GP or your urologist and you've had the test and then there is a case of I don't know where to go now, this app was going to be a link between those appointments and the next steps. So we've had our funding rejected at the moment, but we're looking at other avenues as to ways of getting this app up and running. And do you know why I'm doing that? For you, because you are absolute superstars. You need more support. You need more help out there. I'm also in the early stages of running a pilot for an international support network and community that I'll be launching later on this year. Do you know why I'm doing that? 
guess what? It's a three-letter word. It begins with Y, ends in U. That's right. It's, it's for you. I'm doing all of this for you. All right. I have dedicated my life now to helping male pelvic pain. I want to give you hope. In a world that seems absent of hope in, uh, and I mean the pelvic pain world there, <laughs> We could get really uh, <laughs> we could get really philosophical and say about the rest of the world. But I'm really talking about the pelvic pain world. I want to help you believe that recovery is possible for you. It may not seem like it. There's lots of information out there that suggests that it isn't. It doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean it's going to happen today or tomorrow or that it will just happen if I do a little bit of movement or I do a meditation once every now and again. I want to give you hope. I want to demonstrate that through my content that I'm putting out there for you, that you can do something to help yourself. I want you to be in the driver's seat of your recovery. I want to demonstrate that you can do this. And if you ask for the support of others around you, and there's a brilliant um, Pelvic Pain Natters podcast that Tim and I have recorded that will be coming out, I believe, next week that talks about a support community. Do go and check that out and um, we'll explain the importance of having other people around yourself and giving yourself the support that you need as well. I want to give you hope that you can recover, but I need your help as well here. We need to work together on this. We need to really work at getting to the root cause as to what needs to be done. So I would love for you to share the content that I put out there, the free content, the resources, the free guides, the Pelvic Pain Natters podcast with Tim and I, the Friday Takeaways. The more we can share this, and I'm doing this on YouTube, on Podbeam, on Spotify, on Apple Music at the moment, um, and a number of other slightly lesser known um platforms but i need you to share this for me because the more you share my content the more we start to build a community we start to build awareness that there is hope out there and we can start to change this idea and this concept that this is a doom and gloom end of life condition so if you're enjoying what i'm doing then please share this content on other platforms i'd also love for you to come back and comment and let me know what you want from me. So if you email me at pelvicpainmatters at gmail.com and let me know what content you would like for me to put out there, I know that there are people out there listening. <laughs> I know there are people out there listening because in our next podcast with Tim, I also go through and I highlight all of the countries where people are currently listening to us from. It's incredibly humbling. I've got my hand on my heart here as I say this. It means so much to me that you are out there listening, taking on board. And I get messages every day from, I get uh, messages from patients that are saying they're really, really fun. And the content that I'm putting out there on this podcast, super, super helpful. If, if you're one of those people and it's helped you, then it can absolutely help other people. Okay, so please do share, please do comment. Let me know what you want. And please do subscribe to the podcast. If you can rate it, particularly on places like Spotify or Podbeam, that starts to bump it up, the rankings. Now, as far as I know, and I check regularly, there is no other podcast out there dedicated to male pelvic pain conditions like chronic pelvic pain syndrome and chronic prostatitis. It's a very niche subject, right? And I want to make that difference. I want to make things different for you. You are the absolute superstars here. You are the very, very reason why I do exactly what I do right now. Let's work together. Let's make this world. Well, I was going to break into song then. <laughs> Let's make the world a better place. All right. For you and for all the other sufferers around you. This is Carl. This is a Friday takeaway. Until next time.